everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to talk about uh, 2D wireframe uh, drawing. I'm just going to draw up uh, a quick sample here. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First thing I'm going to do is draw a rectangle. That's seven by six and a half. Um, let me do that again. Let's do five and a half. All right, so we got our rectangle up there. The center, here, let me turn. Let me turn that off. Turn that on. All right, so we're going to do a circle on center. It's going to be one and a half. All right, now... From here, I'm going to do an offset. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna snap a half inch radius here, 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 and here. All right, and then I'm going to let's see. I'm gonna draw an arc. This is a one inch radius. And it's going to be x minus 1.5. All right, that looks good. Okay, let me mirror this one to the other side. And we're ready to do some editing. So a lot of times when you're drawing parts, you'll create extra geometry and trim it away. Um, you can mirror, you can rotate. There's a lot of different um, tricks that you can do. But from here, I've drawn up some of the basic geometry that I want to get started with. And uh, now I'm just going to trim away. Now, there's a lot of ways to trim geometry. Um, probably my favorite is quick trim, where you can just click on what you want to get rid of and you can get get rid of it pretty quickly that's one way to do it another one that I really like as well is called strings so uh, strings is pretty useful because like I can select on this line to that radius to 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 this line and you can see how that cleaned that up as a string or a chain so that's pretty good so just uh, after drawing some of the construction geometry we we're able to trim away uh, quite a bit now we're gonna just come in and add some fillets so we'll do arc fillet quarter inch we'll go from here to here here from here you know we can just work our way around and uh, kinda lay this out uh, let's see we'll do some fillets on this section here Uh, and that section there it looks like we're almost done here I want to do a half inch radius on the outside like this and then I also want to do an arc snap this one uh, I think this is the right amount here so I'll snap some some holes. This is shift left click on the arc and then I can find the arc center. All right, we got that all done. Let me do uh, one other thing. Let me do an offset here. Uh, let's do point one. All right, so that gives us that and then I'm gonna coordinates let's make this three or four this is um, all right looks good all right so that gives me all the wireframe and you could see we could draw that up uh, pretty quickly it doesn't take too much work now I want to convert this to a solid so I'm gonna do an extrude curve here this one I'm gonna make you know one inch that's fine next I'm gonna do an extrude cut uh, this one I'm just gonna go from here to here and we'll make this a half inch 
okay and then I'm toggling my sh uh, shading on and on or on and off with uh, the S on my keyboard uh, I'm gonna do an extrude cut on these holes here as well and that looks good so we have some holes and the last thing that I wanted to do is this o-ring groove so to do the o-ring groove what I'm gonna do is create a swept surface so we're gonna do surface sweep I'm going to shift left click on this circle and grab the center point shift click on the profile of the circle shift click on the profile that I want to sweep it along and that gives me that circle and then from here I just want to boolean that away so we'll do solid subtract select this shape select that shape and we'll cut them away and then now let me turn off my wireframe and you can see here we have this design um, pretty quick to uh, set up uh, didn't take much time at all uh, hopefully you guys uh, picked up some tricks along the way if you have any questions comments or feedback please reply back to the Facebook the YouTube or whatever thread this video may be posted in uh, if you like the video let's get a thumbs up if you have any comments you can comment below if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel do that right now Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much, guys.